everybody, welcome back to Portugal and Beyond. I'm Jorik. I appreciate you checking out my channel. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. And please subscribe for more information about Portugal and Europe travel and travel news as I get it. I try to pass it along to you. Today is more of my day trip uh, videos when it comes to Portugal. And I want to talk about a, a walled medieval town called Obidosh. It is about an hour north of Lisbon. And with many of these videos, I like to start off with a map. So here's a Google map of where it lo is located. It's about an hour north of the city. Also, you can, if you're in Porto, you can uh, drive south and get there. There are many other, uh, I will say, smaller towns and cities near that area that make it an attractive day trip. But this area, Obidosh, has been inhabited since the Neolithic period. It's old. Uh, there they find Roman remains, Phoenician remains here. It's very amazing walking, driving actually into the area. And if you're parking right outside the, the old walled village or town, and then you walk up the steps and then you get into this area, it is so cool because you can walk along the ramparts, the walls uh, on the outskirts of this town. You can get just, I would say, an amazing perspective of what a small village used to look like in Portugal and still exists here. Just very cool streets going in every different direction, uh, small streets. So if you have like a big car, you're going to have a hard time driving around some areas, especially with uh, the parking. Not a lot of parking in this town, but it's beautiful. I would say from so many vantage points, especially if you happen to come during the spring, summertime, when the flowers are blooming, they have the flower pots on many of the apartments and homes outside, up on the wall, which reminds me very much of like Spain, so former Hispania influence. It's very cool. Uh, we were able to get there and do some footage, some photos, some videos, and even some drone footage of this place and I would recommend if you're doing it, it would only take you maybe a couple of hours of time, maybe grab some lunch, maybe a drink and then just enjoy this place. It does get a little busy in the summertime because it's small, the streets get packed. It doesn't take a lot of pedestrian traffic uh, to do that, but it's absolutely uh, stunning. If you're looking to do it, there's also Batala, uh, there's Lorena, there is Peniche, Nazare. There's a number of other towns along the way that you can hit over the course of the day that have ruins or monasteries or great surfing, whether they be along the coast or inland, that you, you might be able to hit two or three in, in a day. It would be a full day, but it would certainly be worth it. I really love this town. It's something that if there is an opportunity to try to get up here, it's not the first time that I've been here. It's the first time that I uh, was able to make some video, but it's just cool to hang out and see a very much medieval experience. And there aren't many places, especially if you're coming from uh, Canada or the US where you get this type of feel. As soon as you walk through the main wall or gate into the old city, you just, you feel like you're walking onto a set of a movie. I've said that on several of my videos, but I would say when you get out of some of the main areas of Porto and Lisbon uh, and the Algarve, you get into older Portugal and more authentic Portugal, it's absolutely stunning. That's again, an overused word that I use, but if you have gone to Obidos, please comment on here. Let me know what you thought, good or bad, so other people that are interested can go, or if you thought it wasn't worth it, maybe they should skip it. Let us know what your comments are about it, because I really enjoy this place. It's, it's kind of a favorite place to get to, and it's close to Lisbon. Let us know what you think about that, good, bad, or otherwise. As always, Thank you so much for watching the channel. I greatly appreciate it and enjoy your travels. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching the full video. If you get a chance, and if you're interested in reading some crazy workplace stories, please check out my two books, Magnet of Madness, Volume 1 and Volume 2, both available on Amazon in ebook or softcover. If you want to make fun of me, there's plenty of stories where you can do that. If you want to make yourself feel better about the job that you're in, It'll make you feel better too. But uh, crazy stuff that happened over 30 years, you won't believe it until you read it. So thank you so much for watching. And if you get a chance, pick up a copy of one of these on Amazon. Thank you so much.